Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolfkist! Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I am Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrixdottir, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Francia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. There'll be blood if any here heard I refused a feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. You would be welcome. Yet you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! One can prefer ale to wine. Mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. It will always be ale for my cup. It is not only the channel that separates us, there is an entire sea of bad taste. <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So, you have traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensthorpe. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hofton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toka? Every word I have said is true. But there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king. Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village. But we have our own troubles here in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry, not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain Siegfried prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against we Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing.
My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The sick threats he mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if he will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I'll be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home game. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. The Raven Clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find Pierre when you have prepared, and we will make for Francia at once. Thank you. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water. And not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Siegfried. You came, Wolfskis. Good. You knew it was me. Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe would be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor, as Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. I know of blood debt and vengeance. When the time comes, Siegfried, you'll have my axe. Good. Tis as I hoped. Now we will feast. And I will tell you of my plans for Paris. Ours will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mods with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so odd, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? 
That does not sound glorious. Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well! Leave the stripling alive to tell of it! The what? Bishop Anguin, this is a good night. Where did Anguin go? <laughs> Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded, and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack! I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother and your father. I am sorry, Toka. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensforp. Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. If we take Paris, many of their soldiers will die. Charles knows that. The threat of it will force him to negotiate. That oath-breaking coward will never meet you. Even if he does, his word is worthless. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toka. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I'll meet Siegfried there. And return when Engelwyn is dead. Then we will find Charles. Tavern keep. The prodigal returns. Is any visitor really so important that you will refuse honest custom? That's a reasonable question. One which I can't answer for the sake of my head. Which is an answer of sorts, if you think on it. I would really like to change your mind. If your need is that great, you can try talking to the door guard. He's at the bottom of the stairs. Perhaps silver will help. You know, it just might. You're not going to get in the front door, but as with most things in Paris, there's another way. Go on. That big tree outside the front door might be worth your attention. You didn't hear anything from me, though. My thanks. Not yet. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan in England. Flesh and blood. 
a northerner by the look of you. Why do you disturb me? Where are my guards? Your guards are not coming. Your bishop will not be joining us either. <laughs> Engerwin, you've done me a favor, Northerner, though you don't know it. That bishop was an unholy annoyance. What is it you want? Your soldiers strike at Norse villages. Their attacks grow more common by the day. You make war against us, without cause. Without cause? This is my land. A kingdom established by God. You are invaders and devils, a scourge I am called to cleanse. My cause is God himself. You claim your cause in the name of your god. We claim it by our own strength. Either way, those claims end in this land. I begin to understand you, Diable. You don't care for Francia. You want clemency for England and for yourself. I want you to stay in your own land. You murder your way into another land. And you think to stop me driving you back out with negotiation? I am a king. You are a godless invader. Who are you to parley with me? I am one who might have killed you already, yet you live. Hmm. Perhaps this is opportune. What do you think? Could it work? It might work. There is something I require. If you accomplish it, I will be more open to consider your proposal. A deal within a deal. How like a king. <laughs> what is this task? My queen, Richardis, has been taken. I want her return to me. I assume I must first find her. My spies tell me she was taken by those belonging to a zealous faction within the church. I know nothing more. You do not seem overly troubled by her absence. Marriage for kings is more often a matter of politics than of the heart. In any case, I doubt she is in danger. And you can be certain. I want her safe return. If I do this, you'll agree to leave England in peace. Peace? That's a strange word in the mouth of an invader. But again, you presume too much. Do this, and you will have earned a place at the negotiation table. Nothing more. When we next meet, you'll be with your queen to discuss your ambitions for England. As you say, Diablo. God will make it so. Now, you must excuse me. <laughs> Wolf kissed. You are gone over long. We've had trouble. Engelwen is dead. Though there is a sickness in these Franks, I do not understand. That is very good. It is as I told you. You see now why it is pointless to try to deal with them. Yet I must. Information with him led me to their king. Charles and I have reached the beginnings of an agreement. You met with their king? Do you make yourself my enemy now? Toka failed to bring me any but you, and now you defy me! You said there was trouble. There was another attack, and we found our missing watch. 
Curse those raven starvers. I will gut every one of them. You might have helped prevent this. Why? What has happened? You will see what it is you are so eager to make peace with. Toka will show you. I have our revenge to plan. Look. These wounds were not made by the sword, or by animals. It is the Franks. You said yourself, there is a sickness in them. There is no honor in what they do. These were my friends. I have seen this before. People disappear sometimes. When they return, they are like this. Toka, I need your help. Charles asked me to find his queen. If I can, I might stop this sickness reaching England. The queen was at Evreux yesterday, in the company of priests. You will find her there. You think all I do is drink wine and bed handsome men and beautiful women? Merde. I have eyes all over Francia, and they see many things. Some of those things I must attend to now. When you are ready, Eivor, come and see me. I have a proposal for you. Siegfried is right, Wolfkist. Even with this proof of the Franks' cowardice before you, you still want to bargain with them? I will not go against my uncle. I am sorry. I cannot help you in this. You're right. Your duty is to your own clan, Toga. My duty is to mine. It is why I came to Frankia. I will go to Evreux alone. When you are done in Evreux, meet us at our forward camp, west of Paris. We have a siege to prepare. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came, and oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burned girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now, I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God Shh. is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or... Queen, choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming, and with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. <clears throat> Little mother knows something about the queen. I need to find her. Have you seen my husband? He should have been back from the ritual by. You are troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. <laughs> Little mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little mother has a sanctum there. 
Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst, and pray to your god for the best. <gasps> yes, I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila, where rituals are being... Is the queen, no matter what the Bellatores say. Surely the knife is well made, but the edge is dull. Oh, you startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes, I've been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I... I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then, you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother. You stay here. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. You have been used by God today. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your God who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we're going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you, and why we should be friends. We will go together. Little bear. Richardis! You're safe! God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eva, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He called you by your first name. Yes, it seems odd for a child, I know. But I am not his mother. Nothing else felt right. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet, I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man, and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I fulfilled our agreement. Here is your wife, the queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife, finally you appear before me. 
You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Shall no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard, Richardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. So he has. Kings, always saying what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble Eivor of Raventlan. You will see. Farewell for now. Long ships on the shore. As beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but there are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling, playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We are here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Otto leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. High one says, "'Tis better to live than to die, that the dead till no fields.'" 
quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost Thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is this Odo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind. God Pardon me, my lady. But I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady, I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heath and hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding. Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those writs I need to meet with Odo. And with Count Odo leading us, we shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and plunder. True. The Northmen are fierce, and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath before God to defend this realm. We will overcome this evil. As we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Gosle, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Francia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off for silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We're not a part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never 
take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. Ah, you arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravens thought the Skalds called this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? It went as you said. The man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. A fierce wind can snap a tree, even one as strong as Odo. Is Charles the wind, or will he break like a reed? Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for our catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed. But how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Toga. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler. A woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover, just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Toka's necklace before she stole her heart. Now Toka misses her necklace. I will talk to the smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking? We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toka's right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not. But soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word once given is never broken. I will fight at your side, Siegfried. Never doubt. Enough, friends, uncle. We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thing. Someday she might stand in front of an army like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> what do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish peace wine to me.
A heathen monster, bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend. Good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. Plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Evor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward, name of Nolwyn. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? <coughs> Better we take the city before it starves. We will not harm the commoners if I can help it. But Siegfried, the Frank killer, leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many nerve men must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his knees die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and a truce on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you, my good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. Very well. But hurry back, little bear. Bonjour, my brave friend. But I do not have any silver. Hmm. I am not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints. And I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No. You see, I'm a friend of Richardis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through city walls. I need your help. I am no ghost. Just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All Paris knows it, even the boy Prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? My friend Toka wants a necklace back. This I know. There is her chain, friend. Tell her to find me a knot when this is all over. Toka shall hear your words. All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door or something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks see the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take the bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. The Fat King. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. 
He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool. The king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I, I should thank you. Uh, for what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. What shall learn? Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. The jesters were all drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king had a room. You there, acting strange. Where is your king? As mute as the dead. No matter. I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theater and I'm young. Good. Let us go. No. He may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that takes the little ones. Yes, demon. What? What does it do to the little ones? He dashes them against the stones. No. No, 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 no. <sighs> it is only the heathen, led astray by Lucifer. But mortal, all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me, and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> Forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand, for that trick you played on me and the quick. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and a, a free hand in England, correct? Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man, with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. 
Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard. My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed. And I will consider the merits of your offer. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater where you talk to yourself in the dark? No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish scalds. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. Well, we should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. But what else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toga. There. That workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks, what are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law, that man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided. And they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though. United under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear, for we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Goslin and Ebels. Warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests, avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must. Brother, you talk too much. Come on, let us go take that workshop now. Great victory. The gods smiled upon this day. Indeed. This gives us another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson? The god of vengeance who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes. Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then Stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nornir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp, when all is ready, Siegfried. Blood you! We're a Siegfried and Toka. Ah, uh, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow we all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again I ask, where are the others? 
fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. It is the only time I am alive. Far from home, before another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunan? Yes, I know the day, the very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. The queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. My place is here, with Siegfried and Toka, come what may. Eivor, you return. That means all is ready, and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You'll collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. As I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The gods heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you? Say what you like, Siegfried. We are free things, all of us. You're not our Jarl, nor our king. Ha <laughs> ha Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder, each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world, and of the next, the whole of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. Today, warriors, we shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground. And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace or in Odin's hall with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory. Day of vengeance! Shields! Oh. Thank you. 
the king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty in battle. He trains my hands for war, so that my arms may hold this cross of gold. I shall not yield! Brave Sif, bring the gift of victory. Odin, lend me your helm of art. Be the feed my need for vengeance of Valir, O Aesir. Crush these walls! I am the Gate of Paris! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gasling. Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes. Do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest Gaslan before he rallies the Franks. I remember you, the silent jester from the tavern. You have earned my eternal gratitude. I assume you seek the war priest Gaslan? Please, take the church key. It's brought me only trouble. Thanks. It seems you found your tongue after all. Join your nailed god in death, as you served him in life. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall! Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. And Toka, killing everyone. It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He 
he will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I'll get in. Pardon me, but is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here is your wine. Now, do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of lies, the blood of Christ, the fire and flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in her master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. my sweet children again. Where are they, father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter Dussan. Do not fear. Thank you. But father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. A sanctum. Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband anywhere you can. Death creeps upon me now. Slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. I so bad. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady. What 
good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come. Share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mother as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe. An arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. They've ruled our designs for years. Crafting each piece. Wondrous works. I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. A fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold Pale. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor, and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As to you, good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. 
Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby. Safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I have dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. He can try. And if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bear our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. In 
enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? We have done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Where do I start? <laughs> Good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? They don't make pigs that fast in England. Oh, and you are pretty quick as well. I won the race. But Hermod is the big winner tonight. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yeah. No less. Listen to my words, Toka. Long after the bodies are buried and the house is rebuilt, the Franks will remember this day. All we have is an uneasy truce with Charles. And glory worthy of our ancestors. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to... You honor me. By the way, I... I could not do... She's throwing. The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I? So, want to toss some cheese? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. Good throw, Evor. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There is much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? I could tell you. Or I could show you. In return, I could also show you a few tricks of the Frankish persuasion. I will have to repay the favor then, with my own set of skills. Shall we find some place quiet then, away from this rabble? Lead the way. That was nice. It was. I hope you know, well, Evor, you know how I am. I indulge in the finer things in life. Various fine things, in fact, and... <laughs> Pierre, we both know what this was. Then, good. Is this something they do often, where you are from? I think I might like it there. <laughs> Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo, as Charles' army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardus, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I have done has been for my clan. 
It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. We fight because we must. Born in blood, doomed to die. Our threats woven by unseen hands. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons, and we are no different than wolves, driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be, but for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hole waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinrich or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge, it has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this frackish stage, awaiting our final performance? Dry your weapon. If it is death you want, fine. I'll give it to you. But this is your doing, Siegfried. Finally, the fabled Eivor of Raven Clan has come. Toka, I. Uh... I know. He chose this. May you find peace in the Great Hall. And when you drink with Father again, tell him of the glory I won for us.
I thought him a Saka hero. Never to fall. He was formidable, but stubborn. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage. Daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt. I'm unabound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried is dead. They are Toka's axes now. By whose hand? Mine. I knew you were not like him. He was a careless butcher with no concern for what meat he chopped. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Evar, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard? A part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the Queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... Too long. I will find Richardus. I am duty bound to return the aid she once gave me. And she is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you killed Charles for Francia, we would not forget. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I want to make. I misjudged you, Evar. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough! You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I'll go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardus. Fine. Bonne chance, Evar. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. There is a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. Evo! Thank goodness it's you! What happened? The monster took us to father's villa. But Richard Dees distracted him, and I snuck through the construction along the wall. There is a tower there, and if you climb and climb, you can go right over! Where is Richardus? Where is the Queen? The monster. 
She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lisse. I will see to Richardis. I can help. I know things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It'll be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up to it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going and do not look back. I will see to Rashadis. Au revoir, Evo. that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles. Who must seek his forgiveness? <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God, it's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Life. Stand aside, Bishop. Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn, for little mother, for my brother Ebels. I will purge you from this place! I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lisieux. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flush of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. 
His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has felt here in Francia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... Uh... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. done to you. It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and a mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. Never honor a bond with you, Northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eivor! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richardis? 
Did you encounter Shar? Rashad as yet lives. Charles does not. This is an unexpected gift! That makes today a day for our celebration! Skull! Sante! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any Northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? You should not trust Odo, or any other leader in his lands. Not fully. Odo's duty is to his people. As is mine. And as long as your ambitions do not cross his, there can be a reprieve from the bloodshed. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more yarl like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I've been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. Farewell, Toka. <laughs>